I'm just beginning the process. I'll be heading to the academy and I think getting this training prior to the academy will really help me get a feel for what to expect you know when i uh, become an agent there's a lot going on and you always got to make sure that you cross your t's dotted your i's if something does go south one of the first people they're going to come back to is you i try to stay as organized as i can because that's i would say one of the most important things. We were able to visit in home as well as field visits. You can look through the windows to make sure, you know. So let's go ahead and get this done real quick and then uh, we'll discuss anything further, do a quick search and then uh, I'll let you get on with your uh, busy day as we know. So we do a quick walk through everything, you know, make sure things are on point, nothing out of the ordinary. We did an ANT test, came back negative. They really don't want to go back, yeah. That was an eye opener, one life around parole for my homeless guys part of the levee comes right up behind it there so a lot of the transient camps right there it's a, not a not a very friendly place this is 14 forward this is the homeless shelter and these little tough sheds which is exactly what they are in case you're wondering it's st structured you know they have to be sober um, if there's any suspicion or anything like that they'll kick them out Brown. Yep, I got it. Where are you working at? Today I'm doing siding on an apartment Go complex. Okay, I'm gonna drive over there. There he is right there. How are you doing, sir? Andrew Brown. Andrew. Brown. Josh Carly. Josh, hey Josh. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. Hanging in there. I just wanted to come check up on him. Robert, how you doing? He's been great, man. Yeah, well, this is a big step in the right direction for a guy that's been out for about a week and <laughs> what, a week and a half? I told you it wouldn't take long. <laughs> we'll save up some money. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll um, I think, did I tell you Hands of Hope? For, for the for the, the help with the down payment, yeah. um, you can go check it out. Yeah, like I said, I'll talk to, I talked to him yesterday. I'll find out more about how they do that program um, with the first and last month or the first month rent, whatever it is. All right, gentlemen, we'll let you guys get on with your day. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, well, you. Thank you for uh, yeah, hiring thanks, this thanks, guy. Thanks, hey, thanks, keep it up, all right? And, uh, keep up good work. Thank you. We got to visit a, an inpatient rehabilitation clinic called Pathways. We have all levels of care here, so we can bring somebody in who is currently abusing substances, whether it be alcohol, heroin, um, methadone, methamphetamine. I am a recovering meth addict as well as alcoholic. Um, I have just celebrated 13 years of sobriety in December. It's been a, a huge blessing for me to be able to work in a community that I took advantage of for so long and to be able to give back. What's the most rewarding thing? Is seeing the light come on in their eyes and, and knowing that they can be successful, knowing that there is another way of life out here. She really feels for what the people are going through. And I think she's a great uh, person, you know, to connect with and be able to, you know, gain knowledge from. I have been fortunate enough to have people that have been in this department for a long time that I know that have told me that it's ups and downs and you got to roll with the punches. It was a really good day.